let's talk about cytomegalovirus now so again as i told you earlier we'll be talking about the herpes virus family and cytomegalovirus is a type of herpes virus family virus so let's talk about it what are the general properties of this virus let me take a color first here what are the general properties of this virus cytomegalovirus is a genus of viruses in the order herpes viralis in the family herpes viridi in the sub family beta herpes virini okay so we have talked about delta herpes virini this is uh, beta herpes virini and the humans or monkeys serve as their natural hosts there are 11 species in this genus including human beta herpes virus 5 which is the species that infects human so when we talk about the cytomegalovirus there beta herpes virus 5 kind of one infects human and human and monkey are their natural hosts so what disease it causes occasionally the cmv or cytomegalovirus can cause mononucleosis or hepatitis that is liver problem okay so all this uh, viruses that are, we are talking about in the second season are mostly causing liver infection and liver diseases hepatitis uh, is another thing that is inflammation of the liver then cirrhosis and ultimately to the liver failure liver damage <clears throat> people with weakened immune systems who get cytomegalovirus can have more serious symptoms affecting in their eyes lungs liver esophagus stomach and intestines babies born with cytomegalovirus can have brain liver spleen lung and growth problems let's look at the structure of the cytomegalovirus or cmv this is human cmv or hcmv virus human cytomegalovirus so again you can look at the virus the structure is very similar to that of the epstein barr virus so because it has a nucleocapsid inside nucleocapsid is icosahedral but it has a envelope outside that is <clears throat> this envelope and it contains glycoprotein and again it has a tegument in between the nucleocapsid as well as the envelope so it's very similar to that of the structure of the epstein barr virus because they belong to the similar family of the viruses okay uh, it consists outer lipid bilayer envelope as i told you earlier and th then there is a uh, icosahedral nucleocapsid and between icosahedral nucleocapsid and the lipid bilayer there is a tegument layer in between and this uh, the membrane lipid envelope that is present outside it contains multiple glycoprotein as a surface receptor okay the virion is usually spherical in composition so this uh, cytomegalovirus or human cytomegalovirus contains mm -hmm. dna as their genetic material this is what we know till this point but we now know that recent study showed that this human cytomegalovirus contains not only dna but also four species of mrna indicating that this virus is more complex than the previously believed to be okay so the classification of cytomegalovirus family herpes viridi sub family beta herpes virini class herve viracets genus cytomegalovirus order herpes virales and phylum peploviricota and kingdom you need to need to understand till kingdom till phylum it's always fine the incubation period the incubation period between the time of getting the virus and the time that symptoms develop ranges 3 to 12 weeks in cases of documented cytomegalovirus infection after a transfusion of infected blood okay so 3 to 12 weeks and generally this herpes virus family viruses they infect uh for longer period of time the incubation periods are present for a longer period of time that is 3 to 12 weeks route of transmission people with cmv may pass the virus in the body fluids such as saliva urine blood tears semen and breast milk so it can come from one person to the other person with sexual intercourse it can come from the mother to uh, the child again through breast milk cmv spread from infected person to the following it as i said direct contact with saliva or urine especially from babies and young children they are infected from saliva and urine and through sexual contact for adults the symptom of this virus includes in some cases infection in healthy people can cause mild illness that may include fever sore throat fatigue swollen glands occasionally cmv cytomegalovirus can cause mononucleosis or hepatitis or liver problem that is occasionally but not always generally it is related to fever sore throat fatigue and swollen glands people with weakened immune system 
who get cytomegalovirus can have more serious symptoms affecting the eyes lungs liver esophagus stomach and intestines okay so now we'll see the life cycle of cytomegalovirus and how exactly cytomegalovirus replicates inside the host cell so this is the start of the virus you can clearly see the genetic material inside and then this capsid and the envelope and with the help of the envelope the cytomegalovirus fuses with the host cell membrane and as a result it will dump its nucleocapsid inside of the cytosol and the nucleocapsid contains both capsomere along with the dna i mean genetic material in this case and now uh, here this uh, genetic material along with this capsomere structure is inserted inside the nucleus it's not only the genetic material but the whole nucleocapsid actually enters inside the nucleus and then uh, this nucleus inside the nucleus the genetic material that is the dna in this case is removed it's dissociated from the capsid structure and once the dna is dissociated the dna will be replicated into multiple copies okay with dna replication and once multiple copies of dnas are produced then they will be encapsidated they will be packaged now for the packaging they need capsid assembly for capsid assembly that is already done in the er because they already produce some mrna which will be uh, used by the ribosome in the rough endoplasmic reticulum and they will make the proteins that will produce the structural part of the capsid so structural protein of the capsid are already produced and they are inserted inside the endoplasmic reticulum and from the endoplasmic reticulum these structures again are transferred into the nucleus where the capsid assembly process takes place so it's really important to know that the capsid dissociation as well as the capsid assembly both of this process take place inside the nucleus and now in the nucleus after the assembly of the capsid uh, the nucleocapsid structure is complete then they are transported out okay so we call them then they we call it secondary envelopment secondary envelopment will be done from the reverse angle that is from the golgi apparatus you can clearly see the vesicle will bulge out and this vesicle will come in and this newly formed nucleocapsid will fuse with the vesicle and as a result of which the secondary in involved envelopment will be complete and after the secondary envelopment this structure will be spit out that means it is obviously linked out kicked out of this cell okay out of this host cell that's how the process completes that's how the viral particles released out okay and this is how a uh, cell can be damaged and the particle can come out so this is the life cycle of human cytomegalovirus or hcmv so that's it if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel to get more videos like that in future thank you bye